No sane solution to the tech problem is possible until we address it with education and rehabilitation. I want to help heal this community, to bring us all together. Not your security system that's dead, Mr. Avery. Really? Not if I'd had a real gun. Dad, Jake did what I asked him to do. He proved you need better security. All he proved to me was that perhaps I should get a permit to carry a gun. With all due respect, sir, I think your daughter's right. You're an extremely controversial candidate, and you've been receiving death threats for weeks. Love letters from cranks, Miss Houston. Part and parcel of politics. Well, that's what happens to a mayor when he gets bounced out of office for using tech. Dad paid his debt, six years cold time. Yeah, then he gets out of the freezer, and what does he do? He runs for mayor, again, like nothing ever happened. Access a dictionary, look under Gaul, I think you'll see hey, a picture of your just father. just wait a minute. It's all right, Gwen. He's just saying what the opposition has been saying all along. Only Mr. Cardigan has the guts to say it to my face. But that still doesn't mean I need his help. You need somebody's help. Bug. Full audio and visual. Top of the line. <laughs> Looks like you're right. <laughs> you don't have a security problem. In fact, you've got no security at all. Can't you put somebody else on the Avery case? I'm afraid that's not an option. Why not? I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Well, I'm not convinced. I am, and I pay your salary. Oh. Look, Avery doesn't even want our help. He's uncontrollable. Exactly why his daughter hired Cosmos. And if you ask me, I think it was a good idea. You know, there's no way this guy's gonna win. He's 10 points behind in the polls. That doesn't mean he doesn't need protection. You yourself found the surveillance device in the man's office. Come on, level with me, will you? What's really going on here? You think I have an ulterior motive? Well, you usually do. True. But it's none of your business. Besides, Avery's a paying client. Yeah, he's also a tech head. Ex-tech head. This may still be dirty. I think he's reformed. Based on what? The concept is called benefit of the doubt. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same concept I once applied to you. Nobody just walks away from tech. It's not that easy. 
Avery spent six years in the freezer, lost everything. Now he's starting over. With half the city hating his guts, doesn't sound easy to me. That's it, thanks. That's great. Double locks on every entrance, with twin backups. And codes? On you. What about holographic detection? You really think there could be somebody out there as clever as Jack Cardigan? Gee, I don't know. I'll order the new detectors now. Good. I'm, I'm really grateful you took the case, Mr. Cardigan. Well, Walter Baskin wouldn't have it any other way. His election is very important to my father. Oh, I bet she's pretty important to you, too. You'd be surprised. Let's go back here. While I was growing up, Dad was a missing person. When he was a cop, he spent 20 hours a day on patrol. When he was mayor, he lived in his office. And then there was tech. Hey, Gwen. Last night. Hey, you said the same things a lot of other people are saying. But the truth is, Frank Avery would make a fine mayor. And if the voters don't want to give him a second chance, they don't deserve him. Excuse me, Jake. There's a problem with the new vertical matrix scanner. Uh, duty calls. Excuse me. I wasn't trying to pry. I was running a routine scan looking for hack trucks, just like you told me. And? And some data. Well, it just sort of popped up. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where's Avery now? He's at Central Bid rehearsing for his next debate with Brackett. Well, it looks like we're gonna have our first lover spat. Don't be too catty, Jake. <laughs> This idea of getting tough on crime seems to be longer suspended sentences and more permissiveness, something which every study has shown to be at the root of our current problems. And in this debate, Mr. Avery will undoubtedly tell you about his plans for more of the same. I'll tell you about a program that works. Very impressive, Mr. Brackett. But you are aware that you're allowed a full five minutes for your opening statement. I've said what I need to say, but I do want more reverb. Deepen the bass and make sure your color balance is accurate. This suit is black, not blue, black. I'll see to it before tonight's debate. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Avery. Sure. <clears throat> Go get him, Mr. Soon-to-be Mayor. Thank you, Ms. Soon-to-be Vice Mayor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna make any promises that I can't keep. I've come here to ask you to let me have a second chance. Excuse me, Mr. Avery. We seem to have a technical problem. Your hollow elements haven't arrived. Uh, I don't have any hollow elements, Rebecca. It's, uh, it's just me. I wanna talk about tech and how we can beat it. There are no fancy gizmos. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to make any promises that I can't keep. Your running mate's man of the people routine might have worked eight years ago, but these are the 40s. You're taller than I remember, Kyle. Shin implants? Research indicates that the ideal height for a politician is 186 centimeters. And I guess these days, voters like candidates with blue eyes. Are those corneal implants? Debates, like all politics, are about image have been since before Nixon Kennedy. You know, I voted for Avery the first time. <laughs> I really feel sorry for him. It's not over yet, Kyle. You know, you'd make one hell of a vice mayor. Ever think about switching parties? Faith and trust, Vivian. How was it, everything all right? You were great. Good. What did my uh, young opponent have to say? 
Nothing much. Good. Because I've got plenty. I'm going to go make a vid call. Okay. Make it brief, Mr. Cardigan, okay? I don't have much time for cops and robbers. Yeah, but you sure do have that robber part down pretty good, don't you? Well, what are you talking about? One of my operatives has stumbled across some pretty interesting information on your database. What kind of information? Donations from shell corporations, controlled by interlocking stewardships. Now, that's a classic tech lord arrangement. Meaning what? Some tech lord pulls my strings? Well, I'd say the evidence is, is pretty incriminating. Passcodes to every file on my computer. You want to poke around? Please be my guest. <laughs> Gee, what makes me think I'm not going to find anything? Look, when this is over, we can go three rounds in the alley if you want. No holds barred. But until then, please just do your job. Nothing more, nothing less, all right? I'll do my job. I just don't want to be part of a cover-up. Who's asking you to? Hello, level six. Right where our pal last locked off. Traces, tracks, nothing. I'm gonna head up to level seven. My guess is that it will be clean. Just like eight, nine, and ten. There's no trail to follow, because there is no hacker. Which means Avery's dirty, right? That's what I like about you, Jake. You never jump to conclusions. Hey, come on. Look, Avery gets hooked on tech, right? Spent six years doing cold time. Two months out of the box, he's already running for office like nothing ever happened. I'm sorry, I just don't buy his miraculous overnight rehabilitation. So you're saying the man doesn't deserve a second chance? No, only if he really is off tech. Eureka, as the Greeks say. And what does Nika say? She found a footprint. A tiny bit of cyber trash. Somebody's been hacking in Avery's file. Somebody good. Damn it! We have a prowler. You're getting sloppy, Wells. Deal with it. Now. Too bad, cutie. We could have had fun together. <laughs> Worked like a charm. <laughs> Did? <laughs> Our friend left prints on three different levels. Clarissa Wells, wirehead. I bumped into her before. She freelances for all kinds of unsavories. So did she plant the information in Avery's file? Damn straight. The hacker tracks in Avery's computer are an exact match with footprints on my butt. Yeah, but the question is, I mean, is Wells on her own or is she working for Avery? You got a location on Wells? <sighs> yep. Like our wirehead uploaded herself out of here. Look out! Did you get a look at our fleeing friend? No, it wouldn't matter if I did anyway. He was wearing a morph mask. How do you know? I wasn't hitting skin. OK, Sunshine, who hired you to poke around Frank Avery's computer? You talk, we deal. And maybe you avoid cold time. Looks like the lady's not afraid of the freezer. 
Well, maybe she thinks her friends are gonna be there for her when she gets out. Oh, as far as her friends are concerned, she's carne muerta. Yeah, well, they'll do anything it takes, make sure she doesn't talk. Even if that means taking her out while she's on ice. Boy, dying in the freezer. Very grim. Rez off. Come on, Wells. Wise up. Tell us who hired you. It's your only way out. Not exactly. Don't touch Bad career move. That's our boy, all right. The identiform never fails. Hey, I'm telling you that that is a morph mask. No, it couldn't be. The electromagnetic field from the cyber rig would have scrambled the mask. I know what I saw, or what I felt anyway. Maybe it wasn't your garden variety mask. Um, possibly. But there aren't many people that could build something that sophisticated. Maybe, I don't know, six tops. How about some names? Coming your way. This time, pull the plug on crime. Vote for me, Kyle Brackett, for mayor. Cyberpol instant tabulation, Frank Avery, 37.3%, Kyle Brackett, 42.8%. Audio off. Nikki, you there? You bellowed, sir? I scratched Diane Merle off the list. She's the biggest morph mask dealer in the Asian Quarter. Was. Past tense. Woman lives in a convent now. <sighs> Man, she must be doing Mondo penance. Now, the name would be nice. Jonas LaSalle. And I can guarantee you he hasn't joined the priesthood. Jonas doesn't like you. I liked her. Hey, Jonas knows you. You were in here last year. You blew up my display case. Maybe I can make it up to you. With a few credits. Looking for a morph mask. I hear you carry top of the line. How many credits did you have to spend? Well, that's up to you. I'm looking for one just like this. Jonas is closed. Window. Thank you for your patronage. So you got audio on Jonas? For what it's worth, listen. Hi, big boy. I'm Veronica. I play the harmonica. High notes or low notes? Boy, I gotta hand it to you, Nika. I'll tell you, your surveillance techniques, they never fail. Flattery will get you somewhere. In this case, Avery Campaign Headquarters. Gwen just sent up a distress signal. All right, I'm on my way. Dad, please don't go. Look, I promise I'll be back before curfew. Back from where? He's going to Rosemont House. It's a tech rehab center. Yeah. Yeah, that's five blocks from where a group of tech addicts killed two cops. I'm aware of that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't want to be late. Hold on. I can't provide security for you in a place like that. Well, then I guess I'll just have to take my chances. Well, you don't go anywhere without my approval. You're forgetting, Mr. Cardigan. You work for me. All right. How about a hollow conference? Definitely not. That's Brackett's style, not mine. Hey, cut the man of the people act, Avery. Those people need help. I promise to be there, and I will. And it's my job to keep you alive. Fine. Just stay out of my way. All right. I want you to ride with him. Standard security procedures. He gives you any trouble, turn the car around, and come back here. Knowing my dad, he'll get out and hit. Yeah, well, that's why we're going to be right behind him. Come on. Please stand back. Everybody move back. Thank you. Move back, please. Everybody move back, please. Come on. A little further back. Stand back. I appreciate a little more lead time next time. Well, these things happen when all you care about is photo ops. This is a photo op? Bet you 10 credits. Folks, I'm not here this morning to uh, answer questions. As a matter of fact, this is kind of private. And I'd ask all of the press to leave right now. <laughs> you can tear me to shreds on the 6 o'clock vid. I can't fall much further behind in the polls than I already have. Looks like Thank you have 10 much. credits. You heard what the man said. Let's go. You want to take the lead out front? Oh, sure, Jake. I love hanging out in neighborhoods where they shoot cops on sight. Come on, let's go. Stand back, please. 
That's it. That's it for today. Listen up, people. I'm not here to preach today. I'm really here to find out what I can do for you. How'd you get addicted? Well, I wish I could give you a real sob story. Something that excused what I did, but I can't. So how'd you kick the habit? <sighs> My daughter, when I realized that tech cost me six years of her life, I knew what I'd done was truly unforgivable, or so I thought. And then I got lucky. She forgave me and taught me that feeling sorry for myself was pointless. You see, you have to let go of the shame. You have to believe that you're worth saving. Come on, Avery. Once a tech head, always a tech head. Look, I know what I did was wrong. There's no excuse for it. And I'm here today to tell you, I'm here to try and make up for it, or at least in part. With what? Phony promises? This shelter's gonna run out of plastic in less than a month. What are you gonna do about it? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back here tomorrow with the media, and we're gonna ask for donations. And I am not gonna leave here until we have 50,000 credits pledged. What do you say? Yeah. yeah. I say awesome. we take the city back from the tech lords, and we start right here with the people at Rosemont. Look, you can't trust him. He's a liar. And I have no agree with you, okay? But the man does have the right to speak. Go to hell. Come on, let's go, get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Let's go, get out of here. Stop it. Stop fighting. Stop. Stop fighting. All right, okay. Take it easy. Everything's all right now. All right? Now hand me the gun. No. Let you and me talk, son. But first, why not let everyone else go, all right? I don't know. You don't want to hurt innocent people, do you? I mean, I'm the one you're after, right? Okay. They can go. What's your name, son? Greg. All right, Greg. Now, why don't you tell me why you're so angry? You don't care about me. Yes, I do. Nobody does. My life isn't worth anything. No! Wait. It will be if you kick tech. Look at me, I did it. You can too, Greg. But I don't know how. I don't know who to believe. You gotta start by believing in you, Greg. You have to forgive yourself. That's the key. Now, put down the gun, okay? Please, just give me the gun. That's it. Beautiful, beautiful. Come here. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, Sam, we had a shooter here, but everything's under control. Good thing, because now Jonas LaSalle needs your help. For what? According to Nika, two goons are shaking him down, and they're not being very gentle, Jake. All right. Come on. Let's go over here. News of Frank Avery's dramatic encounter at the Rosemont earlier today has brought his campaign forward in a way that no one thought he could. Why was Jake Cardigan here? Jonas doesn't know a Jake Cardigan. Yes. Yes. Now Jonas remembers Jake Cardigan. What did he want? Risk vids. He wanted risk vids. Hey, 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 please. Jonas doesn't like anyone to handle the merchandise. My boss doesn't like any of his people who don't come clean. <laughs> Jonas swears he said nothing. Step away from him.
Jonas is ruined. Better than dead. This has not been a good day for Jonas. Yeah, well, it could get worse. If I don't get those two to spill who they work for, I can't shut them down. Jonas will do you one better. The face someone wants to hide is a face Jonas keeps on record, just in case. That's what the guy in the mask really looks like. Jonas doesn't know his name. Is Jake Cardigan? No. Jay Carter, you know somebody who will. Adam Trask. He's muscle for the Carson Tech Cartel. I'm surprised you're still alive, Jake. Well, thanks for your vote of confidence. If Trask is involved, the stakes in this election must be very high. The tech lords don't want Avery to win. Like he's got a chance. Obviously, you haven't heard the results of the latest cyber poll. Thanks to the Rosemont incident, Avery and Brackett are now neck and neck. I still don't buy it. And why would the tech lords back a law and order guy like Kyle Brackett? I suppose you've never heard of a crooked politician using law and order as a cover. Jonas, you know, I'm not gonna be able to find this Trask character as long as he's wearing your top of the line morph mask. Hey, Jonas prides himself on craftsmanship. Yeah, well, Jonas better start priding himself and finding a way to make that morph mask fail. A nullifier, not easy. You want those guys to come back to your shop and redecorate it again for you? Find Jonas a workstation. Jonas. Meet Nika. Nika, this is Jonas. You two are gonna be working together, all right? Have fun. Jonas wonders, who does Nika's hair? Kyle Brackett, the anti-tech crusader, is a patsy for a pack of tech lords? Talk about your strange bedfellows. And it gets worse. Adam Trask is the cartel's big fixer. They got a problem, he solves it. And right now, you're their biggest problem. He's right, Dad. Your encounter at Rosemont changed a lot of minds. So you want to stay alive to see the end of this election? Then you'll take my advice. And what advice would that be? Lay low till we get enough evidence on Brackett to go public. Or at least until we nail Trask. I got a fundraiser scheduled at Rosemont. I can't let those people down. And you won't be letting them down if you get yourself killed? Brackett's already killed you with words on the vid waves. To my wishy-washy opponent, rehabilitation is just another way of saying revolving door. Just another way of keeping tech heads and the danger they represent on our streets. Here's my position. Do tech and you're frozen out. Out of society and most certainly out of politics. Cyberpol instant tabulation, Frank Avery down 25%, Kyle Brackett up 27.5. Okay, Vivian, we got work to do. And don't even think it, Cardigan. If I go to ground now, everyone will think I'm afraid to stand up for what I believe in. You stand up for one thing, and that's getting elected, period. Yes, that's right. With or without your vote. Let's go, Vivian. Your father is probably the most stubborn, irritating man I think I ever met. He's beginning to grow on you, isn't he? Jonas needs more light. I'll get you more light. Uh, Jonas needs a hypersonic drill. Fine, I'll get you a hypersonic drill. Oh, and uh, a pair of fiber optic pliers. Do I look like Santa Claus? Uh, and uh, an electromagnetic scrambler, cyber conduit, and uh, oh, uh, a hydraulic welding torch. Anything else? How about a kiss, sweet cakes? <sighs> Not in this lifetime. How about lunch? <sighs> Nika just lost her appetite. We need credits to run rehab centers like Rosemont. If we can save just one life by keeping these doors open, then we've performed a miracle. But we need your credit transfers to do it, so please, interact now. I give him a nine plus for sincerity. And a zero for security. Look who's here. How about taking a question from the floor, Mr. Avery? Uh, what's about, you can't wait for the debate tonight? It's, it's all right, Mr. Cardigan, let the man speak. So tell us, what is your position on law enforcement? Will you approve funding for personal police security fields? Well. In theory, yes, but I'd have to examine the costs first. Then exactly what do you support, besides these sleazy flop houses? 
Tech rehab is my number one priority, Mr. Brackett. And I'm sure we know why. What about cyber libraries? A balanced budget, Adway expansion. I don't make idle campaign promises, sir. Maybe that's because you can't make choices, which is what being a leader is all about. You're not fooling anybody. Really? Cyber poll shows I just gained two points. Excuse me. Sir, please come with me. Close the wall. Fit phone. Sorry, mister, it's kind of tense here today. Dad's gone. He went out the side door with a reporter. Nika, we lost Avery. Someone just tipped the media that a big story about Frank Avery is going to break at an abandoned theater half a block west of here. Smells like a setup. Uh, sounds like an inside job. I mean, they had to know the exact time and place in order to pull this off. Look, we've got more immediate problems before the state is on the move. All right, you run interference. Just keep away from that theater. Stop. Uh, our next vice mayor, the Honorable Vivian Rogers, has a very important statement. Good day, Houston's messing things up. Now she's got Rogers making a speech. Handle it. How? Make a speech yourself. Was mayor again. Yeah, take it easy. Take it easy. It was tech. Avery was only tech. No, I was mayor again. I see. I it. took the oath of office. I mean, everyone was working with me. We, we were going to save the city. No, no. It was tech. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. Serving on the city council was an honor, but undoubtedly the proudest moment of my public life. Was... Excuse me, Ms. Rogers. Aren't you just stalling? Or more accurately, covering up? I'm not sure what you're trying to say. I'm trying to say that I have reliable information that at this very moment, your running mate is not far from here, in the middle of a tech trip. That is an outrageous accusation. It's the truth. Follow me. Shake media's on the move. All right, well, I got to cover for now. Just keep me posted, all right? Well, let's go. We got to get out of here. What? Don't you think the public deserves to know about this? Yeah, you're a politician. You know better than that. Let's go this way. Come on. Uh, Avery was here. I swear to it. I have a reliable source. Uh, uh, come with me. I, there's something else I should show you. When we get to a bridge, why don't you just pull over and let me jump? Uh, it's too chancy. Might survive the fall. Yeah. This is a sure thing. Let's put it on Mark 1, maximum force, quick results, guaranteed. You don't get it, do you? After what's happened today, I am finished. What did happen today? What, did somebody wave a tech chip at you and you couldn't turn it down? They grabbed me, they took me to that place and they jammed that damn headset on my skull. So you were set up. Is that something to be ashamed of? Don't you see? I went straight back to the same place I was eight years ago, Cardigan. I went straight back to my favorite trip. The day I was inaugurated, All those people cheering me outside the Civic Center. My wife and daughter standing beside me waving. And you loved it. Every blissful second of it. 
See, that's my big beef with you, Avery, you know? I mean, you come out of that freezer, you're smiling, you're shaking hands, every cliche we've ever seen, like it's all over with. But you know what? It's not that easy. I mean, tech is one mean monkey, and you're gonna have it on your back for the rest of your life, period. You can't beat it. You just gotta keep fighting every day. And not run from air either, right? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say get out of the game. Well, how could I possibly stay in the game now? What'd you tell those kids at the rehab center? You gotta believe in yourself. You say things to kids to get them going. Come on. Yeah, right, right, right. What'd you tell Gwen? You tell Gwen that too? You tell, tell her stuff? Come on, she believes in you. No matter what happens. Do it for her. They say you're a fixer. Well, so far, you haven't fixed Jack. The bogus records, the rehab riot, the tech OD, nothing's worked. According to the latest cyber poll, Avery's gonna win. It's your own fault. You look like an ass on the bid. And whose fault was it that the media caught me with my pants down? It won't happen again. We're taking Avery out of the equation. Murder? No. I have some morals. Deal me out. Let me make something perfectly clear. I am not here to negotiate. I am here to tell you what to do. And if self-preservation rates high on your cyber pull, you will do exactly what I tell you. And you will do it damn quick. Hello, Viv. Vivian? You're in on this? I thought I was crooked. What went wrong? Jay Cardigan. He got to Avery before the media could. And now Avery's a slam dunk. Time for plan B. Which is what? After Avery wins, Vivian takes his place. Avery will never go for that. That's the thing about dead people. They'll put up with almost anything. <laughs> Jake figured it had to be somebody on the inside. I figured it had to be somebody high up on the food chain. Well, they said you were good. They said the same about you. Too bad they were wrong. Yeah. Unfortunately, goodness ain't got nothing to do with it. If you reverse the polarity, it'll blow. Watch and learn. Would you give me that drill? So how are we doing? We've done better. What happened at Rosemont? I'm hearing all kinds of stories on the vid. Someone tried to frame Avery for using tech. Someone? You mean Bracket, with help from Trask. Well, you look like you've been to one hell of a party. Yeah, try a black widow with a hell of a bite. Vivian's our leak. She's working for Trask. So if Trask kills Avery, Vivian becomes mayor. Yeah, and the tech lords control City Hall. That put me through to Avery. I want to help heal this community, to bring us all together in a common purpose. Three weeks ago, Frank Avery was down 14 points in the polls. His candidacy doomed. Only a miracle could put him in the mayor's mansion on election day. And who believes in miracles? But now that Frank Avery has bounced back in the polls, his election virtually assured, we may soon witness the most amazing political comeback in this century. If I were Frank Avery, I would believe in miracles. <laughs> So what's the word on Houston? She's not the priority right now. But she heard everything. So, it's her word against yours. Do you have any idea how easy it is to deal with a sole witness? Now, you take care of Cardigan security systems, and this will all be over in about five minutes. Thank you. I can't get through. Call Sam, tell her I'm on my way. Jonas, my friend, I need that nullifier now. Jonas isn't finished. Well, I'll take what you've got. 
Jonas is an artisan, a craftsman. Hey, Jonas is gonna be a dead man if Jake doesn't stop Trask. It only works when you're close to the mask. How close? Very close. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The uh, Matrix polls are about to close. Citizens only have about one minute left to vote, so for just this once, I'll keep it short. <laughs> it's been a, a long, difficult campaign, but no matter what happens, I owe you all my undying respect and eternal gratitude. Thank you for giving me a second chance. Thank you. Polls are now closed. Electoral program tabulating. Final tally: Kyle Brackett, six million eight hundred one thousand two hundred fifteen votes. Frank Avery, nine million. Yes. Thank you. All right, I'll cover Avery. You go find Vivian. for my dad. Oh, that's my job. Have you seen Miss Rogers? Um, she's giving an interview. Can I have your attention, please? When I started this, all the experts said it would be hopeless. They all said that I was most certainly doomed to fail. Well, I can tell you, it sure feels good to prove them wrong. Just a second, just a second. Not just because I've won, but because, and thanks to you, I can now finally redeem myself and make up for the terrible wrong that I inflicted on this city and on the people who believed in me. You've given me my second chance, and I swear to you that I will do everything in my power to give this city its second chance. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Game politics. <laughs> Tell me about it. Also implicated was losing candidate Kyle Brackett, who had this to say at his arrest. I didn't know what they had in mind. I never would have been a party to murder, though I know what I did was abhorrent. I just hope our new mayor and the public he serves can find it in their hearts to forgive me. In other news. Guy sounds like he's still running for office. He probably is. I have no doubt. As soon as Brackett is out of the freezer, he'll be asking the voters for a second chance. The voters are spit in his eye. That's what you said about Avery. Never underestimate the power of society to forgive or forget. Hey, you're a cynic. I'm a realist. Yeah, what do you call the people that support a guy like Brackett? Voters? Yeah. Well, if the voters would put a weasel like Brackett back in office to elect anybody. Ooh, that's an interesting thought. I'll remember that for my own campaign. You'd run for public office? A councilman? No. Mayor? <laughs> Governor? Hey. You're getting close. Whatever. You got my vote. You don't even know my platform. I know who's paying my salary. Cynic. Realist. <laughs> Thank you.